Killing Eve, season one, a uh, show that I heard about, I believe it was on Slash Filmcast, one of the guests uh, was talking about it, and it sounded very intriguing, uh, however, it's like a BBC show, don't really have much access to BBC, uh, until the other day, probably a week or two ago, whenever I was flipping through on Hulu, and uh, saw the show was up. And uh, at least the first season and the second season, I think, just dropped. Um, so far, there's three seasons in total that have have been released uh, through BBC, probably BBC America. And uh, the fourth season starts uh, next year. Not sure what time next year, but it starts next year. So, uh, you know, which is fine. I like I, I enjoy kind of catching up on shows. I like to wait a few seasons and see how it goes. See, see, like there could be a show that has a really good season, first season, and then second season it just falls off. And I don't want to waste my time. Um, there's just so much to watch. So I'm not, it's, it's hard for me to get hooked on stuff as it is. And if I'm going to get hooked on a show, I don't want to be disappointed with a a shitty you know follow-up season or if the series like kind of takes a a nosedive uh but this one i heard good things uh and i'm a big fan of sandra O, who is the one of the leads jody comer is the uh other lead i would say eve uh is played by sandra O, who's part of a secret investigation group or becomes part of that like she's kind of a desk jockey at first um but she strives for more i mean she's like very much like a office kind of nerd um but wants to be you know an action hero in a lot of ways she wants to be uh more involved with uh tracking down these assassins which she's kind of works for a group like mi6 or whatever um kind of trying to track down these assassins and and whatever um, and then Villanelle is the the assassin uh, played by Jody Comer, and uh, amazing, amazing. Like the the acting, the writing, the story, everything is great. It's high level, high quality. Uh, Villanelle, the assassin, very much John Wick like. Right, you don't have to be necessarily told how good this assassin is. You just kind of see how clinical and robotic they are when they're performing their tasks. Like John Wick in a in a gunfight, you can tell that he's like there's a there's just no wasted movement. Everything is very precise and very clean, and uh, the way that this character is portrayed is very similar to that. Um, just just like you can tell she's a high level assassin just by how she's able to do things like there's a scene where uh Sandra O's character she's going to interview somebody there's a you know somebody that they they were able to uh detain and she's trying to get more information on this female assassin that nobody believes like there's only one female assassin on record that's still alive so this is a new assassin that just kind of came out of nowhere and she it's like it starts off the first season where you know she's having to prove that she even exists because Villanelle is like so good that she's just undercover. But Eve has been tracking her. She's been, she has multiple cases where she believes it was a female assassin. And now she has an opportunity to kind of prove that theory real. Um, and there's a scene where she's in a bathroom, right? Just, she's like waiting to get access. Like she has to wait because the, the person she's going to interview is in a hospital and she's kind of under, you know, care and so they're like, you got to wait here while we get the patient ready to kind of come in. And while she's in the bathroom, uh, she they it's one of those scenes where, you know, the investigator and the criminal kind of unknowingly cross paths uh, and they don't find out till later. Um, and it's just and then when she walks out, it's like the whole floor is silent. And then you find out through like this long camera shot. And amazing acting from Sandra O. Oh. Like you find out that just like like there's a phone ringing, and that's like the only noise going on in this whole floor of this hospital. And as she's going to like track down, she's like, "Holy shit, where is everybody? Somebody like..." And then she gets, she sees that like, 
her the person that she's going to interview that has potentially the key to kind of unlocking who this person is she's like dying she's bleeding out and you see everybody just like nurses and attendants everybody's just stabbed and dead and it's just it was just within a matter of seconds and there was no like loud noises so it's like a scene that clearly shows the the level of precision that this assassin without having to even show you you you're 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 basically following Eve throughout this whole kind of scene and just how it's how it's written how it's done instead of you know showing you like trying to kind of formulate how she would even do this uh they just cut through and it just it's played so well Sandra O oh is just an amazing actress and the whole season is setting up um like them discovering who each other is and also this kind of crazy connection uh, where it's like mixed with like sexual tension and like attraction, but also like revenge because one of the characters, one of Eve's associates uh, doesn't end up making it. And it's kind of, it's like that episode where the, where her, her buddy dies, like it sets it up where it's like you, you, He's like the very start of the episode. He's holding his like newborn baby and he's like an older guy. And it's it's like it's just like setting up that this guy's just a normal family guy, but he wants to get in the shit again. Like he kind of has the same uh, passion that Eve does to kind of, you know, be more involved with these investigations. And it's just a crazy, it's just, all of these episodes are so well done. The writing is so well done. I'm excited to watch. I stopped watching, uh, I didn't, haven't watched season two yet at all. I just wanted to watch season one and kind of encapsulate it to talk about on the show. Um, I'm excited to see where season two takes us. Uh, but Killing Eve, man, if you haven't heard about it, if you haven't watched it, if you have Hulu or access to BBC, BBC America, I don't know what channel it's on or where you could find it other in other places, but Killing Eve, like just high level, good quality. Um, and one of the things that I, I really enjoy also because it's two, the two main characters are is female and they're super well written, both super well acted. So the, the, the way they handle all these characters is very grounded, uh, but the acting is amazing. It's like they're, they're given an opportunity to shine and it's, it's amazing. Um, and I like to support amazing work, and it's nice to see. I like different people. I like I like variety. I like that it doesn't always have to be you know the same shit that we've had forever. Um, I enjoy seeing from a perspective of two strong women, uh, especially this kind of a story. And it's just knocking it out of the park. Excited to see what happens. Uh, you know, in the in the series, I don't know where they can go with it, but it has that kind of like tension and well writtenness and acting to like a Breaking Bad kind of a kind of a tonally, and then also just really strong kind of characters that are you know, but also kind of like Heat, also you know, where you have the the investigator trying to track down uh, the criminal. Um, so just just great stuff uh looking forward to season two and season three so i'll talk about those as i watch them uh so check those out keep an eye out for those because a new episode of the ray taylor show does come out every single one episode every single day subscribe everywhere you find podcasts and if you want to watch the show you can do that on youtube and on instagram igtv uh, you can buy all of my original artwork, my abstract paintings. You can buy them over at inspireddisorder.com and save 25% because you watch the show by using coupon code RTS. Follow me on social media at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!